Hey Leo, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot and welcome to your love reading. We're going to be getting advice from Tarot at the very end of the reading, so stick around. And in the meantime, if you'd like me to pray for you, send you my blessings. And I also encourage everybody else, all of you out there, to chime in for each other. Um, say hi in the comments section. I can see it, I can send it to you. And um, you can share what you're going through or you could just send an emoji, whichever you feel comfortable with. I seal this space with my good intentions, positivity and light. It's a safe space for everybody and no negativity can get in. So let's get right into it. Love for Leo, this beautiful warm afternoon, seven of wands. Sticking by your guns, we've got, if you feel any sense of doubt about something, um, remember everything that has forged you. Remember everything that has forged your opinions and your sense of self and intuition. And know that if you stick by your guns, everything will work out. We have this em emotional, mature, uh, a maturity coming out. This is King of Cups. This is representing somebody in your life. This could be you or it could be somebody else. It does represent in the tarot uh, water signs. And uh, they're coming up as a mature, um, empathetic, empathic, compassionate, nurturing energy. What else, Philios? We're going to get a bigger picture here. Ace of Pentacles. This is a sense of self-worth and value coming forward. You might even be receiving a gift, but we've got the Nine of Cups. This is the one of the happiest cards in the deck. You're going to be very happy because you stuck by your guns on something. Who's this King of Cups? Tell me more. Ace of Wands. In a love reading, that can be quite lusty. So this could be this passion ignited with this individual. Tell me more. You're going to be very happy. I think they see your worth. That's why we're getting the Ace of Pentacles. But there could be a gift, like I said, somewhere there. Um, why are we getting the Five of Cups? And Strength. Mm -hmm. A challenge comes forth. You, okay, you see how good you guys would be together. You see how good you are and what you have to offer. And we've got the Two of Cups, which is this beautiful soulmate card. This is equal give and take. Um, and this is compassion and a mutual bond. But you're going to go, or if you, I feel like a lot of you guys are going through a little blip where it is um, challenging you and your sense of uh, trust in your own perception of your worth and how you are um, perceived by this person. So something could have kicked you off your game, maybe something they said, or maybe they're just not getting back to you quickly, or maybe for those of you who are single and you're like, who are you talking about right now? <laughs> this would be something in the realm of love and relationship. Could be online dating for, for hell's sake. But if it kicked you off your game, the advice is the same. And that is stick by your guns. You're gonna be very happy here. There's this new opportunity coming forward where the Ace of Pentacles, we've got a chunk of cards that came out. There is an opportunity. It's going to prove you wrong. You've got a cycle that you're getting a chance, an opportunity to observe, and it's a cycle within yourself. The moment you observe this, you know, you're going to release yourself from the cycle. And the devil card talks about not just any cycle, it's a pattern, a behavioral pattern basically that doesn't serve you. Sometimes it's an addiction with the devil card. But I think it's funny because there's um, a contradiction in this. You get a picture of something you want. You, you see it, it's right in front of you, it's in your grasp. And then something, it's almost like you're looking for something to scare the shit out of you now that you see what you want, right? And the moment you, this is not a big thing. This is a blip. But in the moment when you find it and fixate on it, you're going to be like, okay, there it is. There's the disappointment. There's the crush, you know. 
observe when that happens. We have this cascade of cards that came out. And I think this is not something you're totally ignorant about. Like you, you know that this exists. But when you catch it in the moment, this beautiful, you're going to be gifted your self-worth back. You're going to have hope and fresh optimism. You're going to have fresh thinking with the Page of Swords, fresh communication, maybe even news coming in. You're going to be feeling bright and idealistic again. You're going to have pep to your step again. And all of it was part of the cycle. It might be an exhausting cycle, but when we, when we see what we want, we do all sorts of things. Rarely does your average human being say, oh, no obstacles, just going to get what I want, just going to pick it up, and I'm now I'm going to have it. No, a lot of human beings, they see what they want, even if there's no obstacles, we'll create them, and that's what this is. But what's cool about this reading, Leo, is that you're so on top of it, is that like, you and that's why the first card that flew out was seven of swords the sky plane king of the mountain with these these excuse me seven of wands all these wands coming at this guy are doubters it could be inside doubt it could be outside doubt but he's winning the fight and so that's talking about hey you're going to have some insecurities or some challenges some ob what appears as obstacles pop up because you're seeing something that could be so fucking perfect it scares you and you're going to have an opportunity to nip it in the bud. You're going to see the cycle. And I encourage you to um, play a game. Say, when was the last time this happened? Oh, okay, when was the last time that happened before that, you know? Oh, okay, that's what this is. It's just a self-sabotaging cycle. And I can choose not to listen to it. And that's when the hope appears with a star card. That's when we have the page of swords, that fresh ideas, the new prospects and ideals. And, and to cap it off, we've got the resilience. You know, the nine of wands is cool because he's bandaged, he's bruised, but he's sticking by those wands and he's not going to give up. So, you know, when, you, when these things come up, pop them back down and move forward and take what you want. And you're going to have the nine of cups. Beautiful card. Very, very happy. Look at the Nine of Cups. It's really cool. So let's cap it off with advice. What advice does Tarot have for my beautiful, sunny Leos? What advice? They're like, you already gave the advice. <laughs> They're so withholding. I think you're already doing it. I honestly think that you are already doing it, leaving something behind that's not serving you any longer. Let's talk more about that. What advice? <laughs> Recognize this guy? Nine of Wands, yes. This is sticking, like the resilience, sticking by your guns, you know, battle weary, but you're not giving up. What advice for Leo's? Have you noticed that these are flying out kind of weird? Sun card, yes, you're on your way. Just keep doing what you're doing. And the lover's card, mic drop, we're done. We're done here. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Say hi in the comment section. I'm gonna send you my warm light, my white light and my love. Take care.